AI tools can help with a large range of tasks to save you time and boost your productivity in various ways, some of which can be quite expensive. So coming up in this top 10, I'll share with you the best AI tools I've tested that you can use for free. Hopefully you find at least one or two of these to be useful to you in your daily life. Let's get started. First up in no particular order is Napkin AI. This one's quite useful for saving time. It can turn any text into visuals to be used in social media, books, websites, documents, presentations, or anything else you can think of. Jumping in, I'll give you a quick example. I just created a new account for this demo. The very first time you use it, click on Create My First Napkin. You have two choices here for adding text. You could paste it from a document or generate text using AI. We'll go with by generating text using AI. It'll give you some examples down here and we'll use one of theirs. Let's go with brand proposal for plant care company. Then click on continue. The AI has generated the text we'll be using and there's quite a bit of it here. Let's go back to the top. Now for the cool part, on the left side of the first paragraph, you'll see generate visual the lightning bolt. When you click on it, it will create infographics based on the text. So let's do that right now. Let's scroll down a little bit so you can see it better. Now you'll see the various infographics it created. And there's a few more here you can choose from. Kind of like this one right here. Choose the one that works best for you. After which, you can customize it however you want it. Here you'll have choices to change the color, brightness, and other stuff. And if you want, you can download it to your computer. At this time, while Napkin AI is in its beta stage, it is 100% completely free, including their professional plan with additional features. Up next, Notebook LM from Google is an AI-powered tool powered by Gemini 2.0 that can help you to analyze and organize notes and documents. It acts like a research and writing assistant that allows you to upload sources to ask questions and generate content like summaries and briefing docs. When you first get started using it, you'll get this welcome page to create your first notebook. So click on create. Here you can upload your file or drag and drop it into the window. It supports PDFs, audio and video files, specific links to websites, and a whole lot more. In this example, I'll drag and drop a PDF tutorial on my computer for the Python programming language into the box. Wait for it to get uploaded. If you want to add other sources to this, up to 50, you can do so by clicking on Add Source. We'll keep this real simple with just one source. When it's done, you can query your sources down here in the box. I'll ask it, what is Python? And here it is. When it's done, it will cite where in the sources it found that information. Clicking on any of the numbers will actually show you where in the source it actually found that information. And you'll see it here in the left pane. If you go over here to the right pane to audio overview, you can actually turn this into what sounds like a podcast with hosts. This feature is crazy good. Clicking on customize, you can tell the AI host what they should focus on. We'll just leave this blank, close it out, and click on generate. This will take a few minutes to complete. Now that it's done, it's created an audio overview that's around 28 minutes long. I've shared this feature with family and friends. Every time they're blown away at how realistic it sounds. Let's hit play. Have you ever felt like you're only using like a tiny fraction of Python's power? Kind of like you've got this amazing Swiss army knife, but you're only using the toothpick? Yeah. Yeah. I know that feeling. Oh, good news. This deep dive, we're going to unlock Python's core strength for you. We're not just going to define terms or anything. Right. We're going deeper, like way deeper. We're going to find those key insights that just make Python's whole design make sense. You could think of it as like a crash course on Python's DNA, I guess. I promise you, if you didn't know any better, you wouldn't know that it was AI and not real people. Notebook LM is free to use. You can get additional features with Notebook LM Plus as part of their Google One AI Premium Plan after a one month free trial for around $20 per month. But for most people right now, the free version should be good enough. Also from Google is Gemini Stream Real-Time built into Google AI Studio. The link's in the description for this one. You can find it in the left pane below Create Prompt. This feature allows for real-time interactions with an AI agent using audio, video, and text. 
Before starting, over here on the right, make sure the output format is set to audio. And if you want, you can change the voice. I'll leave it on this one. One example of how it's useful is it can give you help with your computer. So I'll ask you how to turn off notifications in Windows 11. So for this one, I'm going to share my screen. So select share your screen. How can I turn off notifications in Windows 11? To turn off notifications in Windows 11, you can go to settings, then system, then notifications. There you can turn off all notifications or customize them per app. Do you want help with that? Yes. Okay, to start, click on the Windows icon on the bottom left of your screen. Then click on settings. You see that? I got it. Great. Now click on system in the left hand menu. Do you see it? I do. Okay, now on the right side of the window, click on notifications. Do you see that? I do. Great, you should now see a toggle button at the top of the window for notifications. To turn off all notifications, click that toggle button to the off position. Is that working for you? Yes. Perfect, you've now turned off all notifications. Is there anything else I can help you with? Thank you. You're welcome. In this example I just showed you, it was kind of slow responding, so I skipped through certain segments waiting for it to respond to save time. Fathom is an AI-powered note-taking tool for platforms like Zoom, Microsoft Teams, and Google Meet. During online meetings, it allows users to focus on the conversation instead of taking notes. It's compatible with Windows and Mac OS. I can't really demonstrate this one because I'm not in a meeting. Here are the key takeaways. It automatically records, transcribes, and generates summaries of your meetings. It can now translate summaries into 28 languages. They make it easy to share key parts of customer calls or meetings with colleagues. Its AI assistant lets you query the notes for a particular meeting or all of your meetings to get quick answers. They do offer plans with advanced features that start at around $15 per month. This is another one for most users that the free plan will be all that they need. I should probably put out a warning for this one because it might trigger some people in various ways. Developed in China, Manus AI, released earlier this month, could be a game changer. It can autonomously handle complex tasks, including writing and deploying code without direct or continuous human intervention. Yes, you heard me correctly, without direct or continuous human intervention. It has the likes of ChatGPT and the others really nervous. Right now, it's currently in a private beta. You can join the waitlist when they start rolling it out to new users. A fellow programmer friend of mine who's been using it says when he first tried it out, it blew his mind. As soon as it came out earlier this month, I submitted for an invite code, which I'm still waiting for, but I can show you an example from their use cases on their site. I'll go with create the company's organizational chart. It's funny, it chose to do the organizational chart and data for OpenAI. And they give you links here to view the data in any web browser. This will be a quick one. Harpa AI is a browser extension for Chrome and other Chromium-based browsers. Using a combination of ChatGPT, Gemini, and Claude AI, it does a lot. It's like having a dozen AI tools in one. To save time, I'll skip the demo for it and just tell you what it can do. It can scan and summarize videos and websites, track updates to web pages, help you write emails and articles, extract SEO keywords, get AI responses alongside Google search, track price drops on e-commerce sites like Amazon, and a whole lot more. Gamma is a cool tool I've been using quite a bit, using artificial intelligence to create presentations, slide decks, documents, and websites. It's useful in streamlining workflow to create professional looking content. This will work best in Chrome or any Chromium browser. When you get started with it, you can paste in text, generate from a one-line prompt, and you can import using an existing file or URL. Let's go with the one I've used the most, and that would be generate. Here you can generate a presentation, web page, document, or something for social media. Presentation is what I've used the most, so let's go with that. It'll let you select how many cards you want. On the free plan, 10 is the most you can have, so let's go with 10. Now describe what you'd like to make. Presentation, proposing, a family trip to Tokyo, Japan. Click on Generate Outline. You 
can now see it's generated an outline for the various slides. You can edit these if you want or delete any of the cards. At the bottom, you can choose a theme. I'm gonna select view more. Check out the various themes here. Kind of like that one. So I'll select that theme. For the amount of text per card, your choices are brief, medium, and detailed. I'm gonna leave it on medium. And you can choose stock photos. I'm gonna leave it on AI images. This is where the magic happens. Click on generate. Well, this is absolutely amazing. And it's a big time time saver. And it saves a ton of time from having to create them yourself. In addition to the text, it also created the images. And remember, these are AI images. They're not real. Gamma is a freemium site. I've never had to pay for it. For free, each month they give you 400 AI credits and 20,000 AI token inputs. Tokens are a unit of text, which on average is about four characters or one word. For unlimited AI creation and other features, plans start at $8 per month. These next few I mentioned briefly already get plenty of attention, offering both free and paid tiers. There's ChatGPT from the folks at OpenAI. It's a chatbot that can help with all sorts of tasks, including answering questions, summarizing text, generating various types of text, and a whole lot more. Gemini, formerly known as Bard, had a rough start a couple years ago, but now in my testing, I find it to be actually better in every possible way, which is surprising. Then there's the much hyped Apple intelligence. Between those two words, there should be lack of because it's been an absolute failure. Many years behind its competitors and misleading advertising, it's one of the many reasons why Tim Cook should be replaced. Sorry, not sorry, it had to be said. Steve Jobs would have never released this garbage in its current state. Hugging face spaces is a playground of sorts to easily create host and share interactive machine learning demos and applications, or as they call it, the AI app directory. On here, you'll find a bunch of AI apps that you can use for free in various categories. Some of those categories include image generation, video generation, text generation, and many others. Let's go into image editing. For this one, I don't want to spoil anything for you. So for those of you that are curious, I recommend you try those in the various categories of interest to you on your own. It's automatically sorted by relevance. If you're adventurous and want to see the newest stuff, sort by recently created. Thanks for watching. All links for the various AI tools mentioned are in the description. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. And if you're new to our channel, I invite you to subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on our latest AI videos and other tech-related stuff here on Brett in Tech.